Welcome back. Do you have more photos than you know what to do with? Andy Willis is here this morning to show us how to keep those memories perfectly organized. <laughs> As a personal photo organizer, I go to, into a lot of people's houses and see big messes of photos like what you see here on the table. It's important, but maybe they just haven't gotten around to it. And I want to explain to you a little bit about why I think it's important that you organize your photos. And if you're someone like me of a certain age or older, we not only have digital photos on our cameras and on our phones, but we have all of these paper photos. And we um, have a little bit of everything. They might be our photos, they might be our parents' photos, heritage photos, and they're stored poor poorly. They're stored in plastic bins. They're stored in paper boxes that were not meant for, for, um, for photos. They're in the old magnetic photo albums, or they're just loose in boxes and they're getting ripped. And to me, it's very important that we um, figure out what we're gonna do. I mean, how did you get here? This tends to go down on the party ladder, even though if something were to happen to your photos, you would be really sad. Think about if your house was hit by a tornado, are you gonna be upset that your couch has disappeared? Maybe a little bit, but if you lost grandma's photo album, you'd be really upset. So over the next few months, we're gonna have a series on how to organize your paper photos. And we're gonna take you from a cluttered, chaotic mess like this to a much more um, curated, organized collection. So I hope you'll come along the journey with us. If you have any suggestions on what Andy should feature in upcoming installments of Good Life Organizing, you can send her an email at andy at goodlifeorganizing.net. You can also visit Andy's website for more organizing tips and tricks, and that's at goodlifeorganizing.net.